Okay, here's my big berth. I'm gonna put a D16 4 in this. It is a little bit heavy because I've got a 40 foot streamer, but let's give it a D16 boost. Rocket okay? Yeah, okay. Well, a strange pop on that, but it looked like it's okay. This is coming down from a pretty incredible height. Yeah, it's got a 50 foot streamer in it. And it's still falling. That is really nice. You look at that. It's got the drogue chute on it too. The drogue helps to stabilize the body so it doesn't bounce around and tangle the streamer. That is nice. Oh, just to the edge of the field. Okay, good. Okay, so yesterday I launched my Big Bertha. It was a really nice flight, except it had a very strange pop right after it took off. And I thought maybe the engine had exploded. So here's the engine. I'm taking a look at this and what we see is that the nozzle blew out completely. This is really scary. I've been having a lot of problems with these uh, these Q-Jet engines. I bought a pack of D-16-6s and every one of them exploded. The, and I damaged some rockets. I gave away the engines. We put them on a test rack and the other remaining engines exploded as well. Um, the, the nozzles seem to be blowing out, which is really strange. And you can see this one had happened after most of the acceleration had taken place. So when the nozzle blew out, it did not damage the, the rocket. But again, this time it's a D16-4, and uh, the nozzle blew out. I got a good flight on my Big Bertha, but uh, this is the result of that strange pop that you hear in the video, is that the nozzle has blown out of the engine. Here's a D16-4. This is what the nozzle looked like after on a good flight. But if you notice, there's also a little chip out of the nozzle. So it looks like these nozzles seem to have some problem, or some of them will just crumble. And uh, if it stays in place, you get a good flight if the nozzle crumbles and falls apart, well, <laughs> that's the end of the end of that rocket.